my people. Hope everybody's enjoying their uh, Monday afternoon. Do me a favor. Hit that like button, please. It's right there. It'd be much appreciated. Also, make sure you check out dnkknives.com. And if you purchase something from there, you can use this coupon code behind the edge 10 to get yourself 10% off. Also, DNK is offering Sezzle. Sezzle now, man. That's, a, that's an excellent uh, idea. Sezzle makes it much easier for us to make uh, poor financial choices. So, <clears throat> there it is. Uh, if you would like to support the channel, there's a link to Patreon in the description. Or you can join the My People channel membership, um, all of which helps the channel stay alive. And uh, have knives for content and also uh, do giveaways. Because I give away the vast majority of the knives I get. <clears throat> So if you can help, that would be fantastic. Also, there is a, a one-time, uh, like um, a super, they call them supers, stickers, whatever. Y'all know what it is. Anyway, today uh, we're going to talk about a custom called uh, Chalette Knives is the maker. There's the S-C-H-E-L-E-T-T-E. Uh, um, relative, relatively obscure, uh, company, and I don't even know the model, uh, name of this, but it's pretty freaking rad. So, what we got here is a three and a half, a little bit over three and a half inch PSF 27 blade. Uh, PSF 27 is amazing stuff. I will, uh, talk about that more here in a moment. We have G10 contoured scales with a frag pattern over top of nice thick titanium slabs uh, everything's titanium except for the uh, g10 uh, including the hardware i believe um, it may be stainless i tried to stick a magnet to it it did not stick but it could also be a high-end stainless steel which is also not fair so who knows anyway we have a uh, Benchmade Protec uh, Emerson style clip here. Uh, it is riding on Teflon washers and it is a liner lock. Teflon washers. I'm not sure why they went that route. We'll talk about that also in a minute. Um, this is a, a, a custom knife made in-house at Chalette and uh, they made very, very few of them as far as I could tell. Um, I did some digging on their website. They do have another a photo, another one of these, but it has different scales. Um, and other than that, man, I don't see much about them at all. The inside of this says Blade Show 2021. Um, I'm not sure if they are still around, still making them. I do know they make, uh, fixed blades, some good looking fixed blades too. And, and predominantly it's what they make in general. It's just fixed blades. I don't know if this was just their uh, trying to see what they could do, see if they could dip into the folders. Don't know if they're making any more or not, but <clears throat> this one exists, and I am happy for that. We have this funny titanium um, deployment thumb stud, thumb, thumb something. It looks cool. Um, I would much rather prefer a thumb stud, though, myself. It's comfortable, it works both directions, um, but you know, I'm just a thumb stud kind of guy, or a hole, either one. Um, PSF 27 is a very tough, very strong um, tool steel. It kind of is, let's say an upgrade to uh, uh, D2, and um, it's very prominent in the chopper world, like uh, Gail Bradley likes to use it on his fixed blades. Um, Strider uses it a lot. It is excellent edge retention, which I proved on a video. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's in the videos there. Um, fantastic edge retention. Very, very tough. Uh, works great. So this is a, a very thick, robust... Uh, hard use quote unquote style knife so that is a perfect perfect steel for that we have a very thick robust blade stock that tapers down not too thin 
So I'm going to say that's probably uh, on the level of a uh, um, XM18, a Henderer. It is not very thin behind the edge. It is quite sharp, very, very sharp. I don't know if this is a factory edge. It doesn't look like it because it has a little bit of a smile there, but it is quite sharp. Um, and it still cuts, even though it is pretty thick so it still cuts um this guy here i got in a uh from a friend of mine with in a number of other knives including this one and a couple others for an absolutely smoking deal um i didn't have the money but i couldn't pass it up because it would just be silly you know it's like walking past a pile of cash and then not picking it up so I, I didn't really have a choice. I had to jump on it. And I and I told him, I said, man, I'm really kind of getting you here, dude. Uh, you're basically giving them away. And he said, that's cool. I don't care. I don't care nothing about the knives. Uh, I'll take this amount of money, and uh, I'm good with that. And I said, dude, if you're sure, I'll take them. So I went and smoked my credit card at the ATM, um, which I shouldn't have done. But anyway, it was done. But... We have a very nice, thick uh, titanium backspacer that you can kind of feel um, there. So it, it, this is a custom knife, but it's not perfect. There's a few things. Um, as you can see, the screw pattern there is a little off. The middle screw is kind of a little bit close to the right there. It is not at all um, centered. And it has Teflon washers. It's the action's okay. It feels good. The detent's kind of light. Um, anyway, it's not perfect. And I took this thing apart. I was trying to get it centered up, and it wasn't able to center. Um, so you could see milling marks on the liners. You can see uh, um, just the fact that it was made um, in America by hand. Or, you know, probably use machines, but still, you know what I mean, by hand. Uh, it's not perfect. The grinds are not perfect. Um, they're good, but they're not perfect. And uh, that's that's what I like about this knife. Um, you know, a lot of handmade custom knives are going to be five, six, seven, eight hundred plus. This knife was $350, which is in the Wii and Riot range of their upper end so i think it's a, a great deal 350 dollars when this was new i didn't pay that but that's what they cost on the website uh knife joy also had some of these at some at one time and uh I, i'm not sure if that's where this came from but uh they had them at one time other than that i've seen nobody else selling them um like sad to dave says you can always tell what's made in america um non-production for sure because they're just not perfect you know and even this knife being american made you know it's not perfect it's just not perfect and that's okay and that's what i like about it um i'm gonna absolutely bash the hell out of this knife i want to see if it can handle what i think it can i probably will change the um washers to phosphor bronze because i don't I don't like the fact that it has Teflon washers, and I don't know why I don't like that, because I don't know what the... I, I would just think that phosphor bronze are going to be much stronger, and it may center up when I put phosphor bronze in there. Um, Teflon washers is is definitely something that is just uh, not needed in the knife world anymore. We have just so many better options. Anyway, what do you guys think about this knife? Let me know in the comments. Do you have any uh, experience with the company? I have none. No experience at all with them. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, that's probably all I got for you guys today. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Uh, I got a puppy over here whining. It's kind of driving me nuts because I feel bad for her. But it's just because I'm out here and I'm not paying attention to her. So that's probably end as soon as I pick her up. Um... Make sure you guys are good to each other, love each other, and remember life is short. Very short. So there's absolutely no reason to be a piece of shit or a dumb cunt. There's none at all. There's no reason to go through life like that. You could still be a badass and a hard ass and dangerous. 
without being a dumb cunt. Alright guys, later.